Well, I've uh, reached the town of uh, Burgos. So welcome back guys and girls, uh, welcome to the town of Burgos, uh, I'm just unpacking my bike, I'm about to go into my hostel over there. So this is uh, 20 euros 80. So uh, yeah, getting some cheap accommodation now. I need to to keep the keep the monthly costs down. But uh, there's a supermarket here. So are they open or are they closed for the siesta? I think they might be closed. It's about I don't know. It's a bloody time. It's. Five minutes to four. Oh yeah, it's open. I feel like some uh, fruit. I'm a craving for some fruit. I think it's a supermarket. Cheap wine again. Check this out. It's getting hot now too. <laughs> Cathedral de Santa Maria. Quite pricier than the other towns I've been into, that was 17 euros 50 for that. So, a bit pricey. Look at all the hams hanging up on the ceiling. Cheers. So good morning guys and girls, so I'm here in uh, Burgos in northern Spain. Now I'm actually on the, uh, a legendary pilgrim's walk, uh, or the same route, uh, the Camino del Santiago, uh, which dates back to the 9th century. And um, there's a number of different walks, um, the most common one goes from Pamplona heading west to, uh, they all end up at uh, a cathedral in uh, Santiago and um, but it also there's a route from uh, Seville in Spain and you can also do it from Portugal going up the coast uh, from Lisbon and you can do it from south of France and as I said from Pamplona and that and um, it's really popular there's about 300,000 people do it a year 
and um, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Trail site, the first in the world or something. But um, yeah, so all the um, hostels I've been staying at is filled, filled with uh, people with their walking sticks. Um, all age groups from 18 up to 70 plus and uh, and then me on my motorbike of course but um, yeah so the last few towns I've been into have been on the route and I'm going to Leon today uh, which is also on the route and then I'll be veering south a little bit um, and I'm going to end up in a south of Vigo in a place called Tui um, but that's in a couple of days time but uh, yeah and I put my rain suit on it's still another chilly day about 18 today and it sta it'll start warming up tomorrow tomorrow's going to be 22 and then we're going to get 25 so but uh, yeah it's about a two hour ride today so should be good So uh, the road from Burgos to Leon, as you can see, it's pretty much uh, straight roads, open fields, uh, a bit windy, but uh, most of it's a tailwind, so that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, I've still got a 80 odd miles to go. Not many uh, people out here, no cars going past, uh, time for a snack for my nuts. But one day, have I got this? Looks like a bus stop. I don't know what it's doing there because we're sort of. But there's a ditch just down there, so I'm not even too sure how you get to it. Must, must have to go up to the road and around. But uh, yeah, about an hour to go.
So only about 16 kilometers to go, just about there. Sun's come out. Well, I think I can park here. There's a yellow line. Outside the fruit shop, so easy to remember. I can't see any... Uh... Can't see any restricted parking signs. Two yellow stops. I think I'm good to go because I'm only uh, about 200 metres away um, from where I'm staying. Now, where I'm staying in a hostel, it's uh, pedestrianised again, so uh, no, no vehicles in there at all. So I think I'm good to go. So here I am at uh, Globetrotter Hostel in Lyon. about 15 euros a night so it should be all right I'm staying here for two nights so I hope you enjoyed that uh, video of my ride to Leon city of Leon and uh, if you did enjoy it uh, if you could subscribe to help my channel grow that'd be great and uh, join me on my next video where I've, uh, I'll explore Leon and what the city's got to offer so I'm here for two days so uh, looking forward to exploring.